What's happening guys? Welcome to part four in how to use IBM personality insights to get better customer profiles and personas. So in the last video, we went through how to better visualize these profiles using Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. So we ended up getting some really nice personality graphs and, and visualizations. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to simplify that process a little bit and create a quick function which will allow you to pass through any of these insights into the function automatically and grab out the visualizations that you want. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so a lot of the code that we're going to be able to use for this function is really sort of already here. We just need to sort of bring it back together. So let's just start by creating a, uh, let's create another segment because this notebook is getting a little bit messy. And we're going to call this uh, duh, 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 function setup. Probably not the greatest title, whatever. All right, so we're going to create our plotting function. Create def, create, create plots. So this will be our function, create trait plots. And to that, we're going to pass a trait. So what we want to do is just pass through the exact array of the trait. So let's just double check what data structure. Yeah, so we'd pass through the array of the exact trait or personality component. Okay, so let's pass through trait. And then from that, what we want to do is we're going to create our dictionary again. So we'll call it um, so for knee, oh, sorry, for trait in traits and out of that we're going to grab trait. So we'll grab the name and we'll grab the percentile. Right, so that should give us our dictionary and then we can convert it into a data frame. So df equals pd dot equals pd dot data frame dot from and then to that we are going to pass. Sorry, we need to store this in a variable, don't we? And we'll call result orient uh, do, 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 orient index, and then we're gonna reset our index just to remove the the column titles because we're gonna rename them, and we're going to say in place equals true. And then we're going to rename our columns to uh, trait. So really it's just the name and then the percentile. And then we, that will mean we have our data frame, which has the, let's just check what that will look like. So that will get us to the point where we've got our columns. Then we want to create our plot, so sns.bar plot, and we're going to say y equals percentile, because we want to plot the values, right? And then x is going to equal the name, and then we're going to pass through our data frame. And then we are going to run plot.show. So that should, should do it. All right, let's test it out. So create trait, trait plots, and then our original data was stored in profile, wasn't it? So we can grab, what do we visualize last? So we visualize needs, why don't we visualize values? So if we run profile values, and what have we done wrong? So trait, so we haven't passed through. Perfect, our, uh, and we forgot to change our figure size, so plot the figure. Uh, sorry, is that right? Plot of figure, yes. Figure and then fig size equals, and I think we set it to 15 here, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, 15 and 5. So let's resize that. And perfect. All right, so it looks like that's looking a lot better. So, and this is visualizing the values trait that we just got back. So we've got conservation. Openness to change seems pretty high, so self-enhancement, that's uh, getting there, the rest seem kind of low. Now, remember when I said that what we were actually getting back when we were creating the profile was 
the values, the needs, as well as the big five personality trait profile. So that's the only one that we haven't visualized yet. And that's because there's five different components. Graphing each one individually is gonna be a little bit of a pain. So now we've got our function, rather than doing that, we can actually just smash through them. So let's do that. So we can create a list comprehension and actually call, uh, let's loop through all of them first. So four, uh, what are we going to call them? So uh, big five in profile dot. So the big five personality traits are called stored in personality. So that should be an array. Let's just check that works. Um, sorry. Big five. Alrighty, so that's one array, two arrays. Perfect, all right, cool. So we've got our the right structure. So what we're gonna do is for every one of these arrays or these lists that we're getting out of the personality feature, we're just gonna throw them straight to our create trait plots function. Create plots. I'm gonna pass through that. All right, perfect, and we've got it. So you can see here that it's now printed out each one of the different trait plots for, for each of the big five personality um, profiles. So you can see here that it's actually gone and, and smashed them out. So we've got adventurousness, artistic interest, emotionality, and it's actually pretty cool. So you can see there's actually quite a bit, fair bit of information returned. So and this is all just from, just remember, it's all just from this original text block. And this was one letter that we got and we actually extracted a whole heap of insights. So you can see that if you had a whole bunch of customer reviews or potentially a letter from your customer, or um, I guess you'd have to consider the ethics of it, but like an email, you could create profiles for, for your customers and people that you're dealing with so that you can not only better serve them, but better interact with them, and I guess better work with them in business in general. Alrighty, that really wraps up this video. So if you found it useful, just be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You'll be doing me a huge favor. If there's anything else you'd like to know, drop me a comment in the comments below, and I'll get right back to you. For now, peace.